So Vogue magazine in Brazil has posted an ad for the Paralympics on Instagram in which they digitally modify the image of two models to make it look as if they're amputees. In other words, this guy in real life has two legs and this girl in real life has two arms. I don't know if you heard, sometimes people on the internet get really upset about things and people right now are very upset. Now, personally, I find this to be a really fascinating discussion because I am both a Paralympian and an amputee. Yeah, you can't really see from this image, but I'm missing one of my legs. So my first reaction when I heard about this story was, should we be more outraged about this than we are about when fashion magazines Photoshop models to look thinner or make them younger or improve their skin or modify their lips into whatever configuration lips are supposed to be right now according to the media. And it seems like instinctively, yes, there is something more offensive going on here, but why is that? Well, let's take the very common occurrence of fashion magazines digitally modifying models to look thinner, more like the idealized version of a human being according to our current society. Side note, that has not been the case throughout human history. In other words, it's a very recent development that society considers thinness to be an attractive trait. So if photoshopping a model to make them look thinner makes them look more like this imaginary idealized person than photoshopping them to have a disability what does that make them look like? Is there a part of our brains that we might not want to admit exists that says Oh, in this case, Vogue is modifying the image to make the models look less like an idealized human being. And we wouldn't want to admit that because we know, of course, that that's offensive. It's analogous to racism in the disability world that's called ableism. Which brings us to the question, should the disability community be treated as a minority? And if people with disabilities are minority, why does this minority group in particular not celebrate itself the way that some other minorities do? For example, why don't we hear more about Disability Pride Day or Disability Pride Parades? or Disability History Month. And there are many people in the disability community who believe that people with disabilities should be proud of their status as a person with a disability. And those people especially are really outraged by this photo from Vogue. It begs the question of why did Vogue do this? Because of course there are models with disabilities and there are actual Paralympians with disabilities that you could put in a photo for the Paralympics. Now from what I've read so far, Vogue hasn't really explained why they did this, but if I had to guess, I'd say maybe they were on a time crunch and it was much easier to use stock photos and digitally modify them than to go out and find models with disabilities and hire them and bring them into the studio. Or maybe Maybe they did look for models with disabilities, but they didn't find that look that they needed. Because obviously the population of models with four limbs is much greater than the population of models with less than four. And that's one of the reasons why when there's a character with a disability on television or in a movie, it's usually actually an able-bodied actor playing that part. My book, We Should Hang Out Sometime, is under development as a movie, and if it gets made, will an amputee play me in the movie? Probably not. But I would suggest that that situation angers us slightly less than Vogue photoshopping models to look like amputees. Maybe because before Amputee Gate, we were already slightly annoyed at Vogue for creating this like fake idealized version of what they thought a human being should look like. Or how about this? If we think of people with disabilities as a minority, ask yourself, how would you feel if you found out that Vogue photographed a white model and then digitally modified their appearance to make it look like they were a member of a minority race or ethnicity. In other words, it was like a white model and they made them look black and posted it on Instagram. Well, I think we can all agree that that would be incredibly offensive. Now, I'm definitely not saying that's the same as what Vogue did here to make these models look like they had disabilities, but to the extent that that thought experiment and what Vogue did have some similarities, I think that helps explain part of our instinctive discomfort with Vogue's ad. What's up, I'm at Jefferson outside Chicago, Illinois. 